today I have this Katniss inspired look and I've seen a picture being floated around online for the upcoming movie. I'm so excited to see it this later on this month. I am like, ah, I'm so excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you're also excited to go see Mockingjay Part 2. And don't forget to subscribe because I put new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to start with, of course, is my foundation. I've taken this foundation brush from Shaney Cosmetics. And I'm actually going to be using all of their brushes in this tutorial. So check out this brush set. This is amazing. This is everything that you'll ever need. This set includes everything from foundation brushes, eyeshadow brushes, contouring, eyebrows, eyeliner, loose powder brushes, everything. And I'm also going to be using Shaney Cosmetics throughout this tutorial. And this is the Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. And this set includes blushes. I really love all those blush colors. Those are gorgeous. And then you're also getting layers of eyeshadow colors. And I really like that Shaney is a member of PETA and all of their products are cruelty free. And I think this set is perfect for the holidays, so definitely buy the perfect makeup just in time for the holiday parties. And this set also includes lipsticks and concealers, and that's what I'm going to move on to next in this makeup look. And I've taken the concealer palette and I'm just going to use that just in areas that I kind of want to cover up just a little bit more. I've noticed Katniss's makeup is still pretty natural aside from the eyes. Um, so I'm just kind of recreating that. I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to apply loose powder on top of my foundation and concealer. And then I'm going to move on to some bronzer. And I've actually selected three different brushes for this. I really love this fan brush. So I'm just going to use it to apply my bronzer. I'm just sweeping that just under my cheekbones. And I'm also going to sweep that on the sides of my face, just along my temples. And then I'm taking the slanted contour brush. I'm just going to blend everything out. Next up, I'm going to take my blending brush, and this is what I'm going to use to help contour my nose just a little bit. And then moving on to blush. I've noticed she's wearing a bright pink blush, so I've selected this bright pink blush. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly sleep that on my cheeks, and I'm actually going to dab it off just a little bit beforehand because these pigments are amazing. So I'm just going to dust it off a little bit, apply that to my cheekbones, and then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. So I'm just going to shape them into place first by brushing them back. Then of course I'm going to fill in the sparse areas and her brows in the picture are very light. Um, so I'm not going to have my eyebrows as light as that because my eyebrows are actually a little bit bolder. But I am just going to fill in the gaps, like the little empty spaces. Uh, and then I'm just going to brush out my brows again just to sweep them in place. And moving on to the eye makeup, first I'm going to take an eyeshadow base. And moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm going to grab this palette that kind of looks like, it reminds me of a fall shadow palette. And I've just taken an off-white shade and also kind of a deeper purple shade. And I'm using the lighter shade just to help my lids not crease. And then I'm going to take the darker purple and I'm going to create more of a smoky eye. And I'm also going to grab my eyeliner brush and just apply that shadow just along my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to grab a liquid eyeliner and apply that to my top lash line. I'm going to make the outer corner just a little bit thicker. And I kind of like to start in the middle of my eye and work my way out. And then I like to go back in towards the inner corner. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes and of course apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And I don't, <laughs> this is like something I do every time I apply my mascara lately. <laughs> it's a sad day. <gasps> There's just a black dot on my face. Okay, anyway, that's off now. So moving on to the lips, I've selected this pretty natural looking shade. It's like, it kind of reminds me of like a light pink peachy kind of shade. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger. And I'm going to top it off with some lip gloss. And I think this color looks exactly like the shade that she's rocking in the picture. I'll put that picture down below in the description bar. But this is it for the finished look. I hope you guys like it. So you guys, that's it for this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm really obsessed with the Shaney Cosmetics products because I think they're just amazing. They're great quality. The pigments are insane. I'll have a link down below in the description bar. I'll be the first link that you see. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.